Okay guys, so uh, today we're doing a carburetor on a 20 inch MTD push mower. This is a 300E Briggs and Stratton carburetor. Uh, so first thing we're going to do is take the air filter off. Now we're going to go ahead with 8mm here and here and 7mm here and here. Take this cover off. Just to give us a little more visibility, it makes it easier to work on so you can see into the top of the carburetor. I'm going to take this three eight millimeters out as well. Now that I got all the bolts off, this will pull straight out and come right off. This tube comes right off that. Now you could do it all from in here without taking this off. But if you take those three off, pop the recoil off, now you got a great visibility on this. Now this right here, we go out and take the fuel line clamp it, get it off, get the fuel line off. Drain all the gas out of this tank. You don't want any of the old gas going in your freshly cleaned carburetor. I always drain the first little bit into a clear water bottle so I can see what's going on. So with this, there's no water in it, but it's old, bad gas. Gas is clear. When it gets old, it starts getting yellow. So always use low octane. If at all possible, use non-ethanol fuel if you use non-ethanol fuel, you'll do this a lot less often. If you use ethanol fuel, you're going to do it every year. Alright, so once we get the gas tank all drained out, we're going to dry this tank completely with an air hose. If you can't do that, just uh, um, put a, shove a rag in there, soak up the gas, pull the rag out, something like that. Just try to get it as clean, or even put some new, more fresh gas in it and just rinse it through. Try to get all the old stuff out. Now we're going to pull this straight back towards you and then the throttle arm, just twist it, pull it straight off, wiggle it off, boom, comes right off. Now we flip this upside down, two seven millimeters, remove them. Now I've gotten those bolts off, I'm going to use a flathead screwdriver and we're going to get it up in between the bowl and the bottom of the carburetor. I'm going to give it a twist to pop this bowl off. You do it on this side and this side to get it off. Um, well, these are the easiest carburetors I've ever found to actually clean out. But if you do need to get a new carburetor, I'll have it in the description below. As well as air filters, fuel lines, anything you'll need to do this job will be in the description below. Alright, let me pop this off. Now we're going to go ahead and take the flathead and put it underneath this bar. And we're going to give it a twist and pop that whole float right out. Be careful not to drop the needle valve that's in the float. It'll slide right out. Your pin, you're going to need all that. Now we're going to take the flathead screwdriver and stick it between the white piece and the black piece right here. And give it a twist to pop that out. Now this is the main culprit on what needs to be cleaned. This jet right here, and it needs to spray out here, here. You need to spray through all these these two and this one all has to be sprayed clear clean everything out of here spray through here and here make sure that the needle valve is nice and clean make sure the rubber tips not swollen or cracked rinse out your bowl now this one is being very stubborn and they can be stubborn if you have to get a wire out of a wire wheel just pull it right out with a pair of pliers and shove the wire through you gotta get that jet clear that's the main culprit of these not running right there Make sure it's perfectly clean. Now once you got it all clean, it's time to reassemble. So we're going to put this back in. The uh, jet always faces towards this red seal. It's going to make a click feeling when you get it in there nice and tight. It's going to be perfect. And then uh, get the float. you got to be very careful not to drop that needle valve out. You just get that drop right in the place right in there and then get the pin in place if you have it in there right that float will be nice and level like that all right it won't be off or anything it'll be nice all right now we're gonna go ahead and get the float bowl on it only fits one way if it doesn't go on one one way go the other way it takes the long seven millimeter screws and a little tip just because it's happened to me before see that white thing inside of there when that middle piece white thing is pulled out this can fall out 
So make sure that that is in there. See the little nub at the very bottom? That's one of those points on that other one that's sticking up, it's sticking up through it, all right, to hold it in place. If this falls out, it will not run. I think it's called a Venturi is what that white piece is. Make sure you get it in there. Make sure it's in place before you put this back on the lawnmower. All right, now for now we've gotten this all tightened in and everything, we're gonna reconnect the throttle arm to that. So you just get it started in there and then you work it in. It's easier with two hands, but I'm trying to show you, and over. All right, um, the back of this, if there's O-ring and that white piece is on here, push the O-ring in first and then the white piece will click in. You want it on the carburetor. Get the carburetor up in position, line it up on that and then push it in nice and tight boom that's ready to go now we're going to go ahead and put this cover on we've got this tube here we're not going to worry about that first thing we're going to do is line this up where it sets into place and then we're going to put the eight millimeters in all right and we're only going to just get them started then we're going to take the seven millimeters and we're going to put them on the inside. Seven millimeters go on each side of this mouth. This mouthpiece right here. Put them. Now you got the seven started, the eight started, tighten them all up. All right, now we're going to go ahead and grab the recoil, slide it back into place, put the three bolts on that hold the recoil in. Well, before I get too far on this, I think I forgot to do the fuel line. Yeah, so reconnect the fuel line. Um, just a pair of pliers, grab it, pop it on put the clamp on um, it is easier to put it on without all this on there but you know it's not that big a deal all right clean air filter put it on put the air filter cover on put some fresh gas in it you're ready to go all right guys I hope that helped you out you can mow your lawn now um, I usually charge about $80 for a job like this so you just saved 80 bucks be proud of yourself all right guys give me a thumbs up hit that subscribe button uh, any parts you need to be in the description below. Today's t-shirt will also be in the description below. If you want me to wear one of your business shirts, mail me one. I'll be more than happy to uh, advertise for you. Peace.